Hello, my Alpha members and Witch Watcher. Who? Hello, Charlotte. Episode 2 Requiem Atenernam Deo. Hope I pronounced this the right way because I, if, I don't know. It sounds Latin. That a dream I love, and the world laughs with me. Inside a dream, I forget, and the world forgets me. Inside a dream, I am the world. Hello, world. Hello, Charlotte. I wanted to make this joke, but okay. Eferna presents Hello, Charlotte, episode 2. Requiem Aternam Deo. Or Dio. As the seasons start one by one, the slammering guards' heavy eyelids open once again. A core of voices echoes in a fog filled box of a mind. Oh, um. Okay, I didn't expect it. I must be dreaming. Since the oracle became a part of me, my dreams always take place in here. A pitch black land. Where time does not exist. For those, for these three years, hold, hold the fish. I sit next to them in the deafening silence. This time, it's different. Miracle is awake. Hmm. Good morning. Good morning, Seth. Today we will get up, go to school, and go back to sleep again. Please take care of me. <laughs> I didn't expect that. Please tell me this voice acting. Good morning already. Meow. Meow. I feel a paw upon my face. Just a few more minutes. Meow. Still almost reprimanding. Was it interesting that we now have that we can have don't have a little window tails? We now have the tree the faces now. My cat nuzzles against my cheek. Right, you must be hungry. Just wait a bit. <coughs> uh, I look at my hand. It's covered in something dark. <sighs> it's not blood. I mean, you could say it's a blood. I mean, what what defines extra blood? I mean, human blood is red, yes. Because of the... Actually, all of the iron in the air. And that's why... Or actually, because of the blood molecules. molecules being uh, iron and because of the oxygen in the air, it ironizes. And so it, it's, it looks like it, it's red. But it could also be, blood could also have a different color, depending on well, the creature it came from. I mean, green blood is it exist can exist, pink blood can exist, dark blood. <laughs> Weird. Yeah, it's nothing. Don't worry. Oh. My brother man was right. All these years, my health really did become worse. Still have a bit of time before school, Seth. Let's feed my cat and greet everyone on our way. Welcome to warp on the cube to warp. Actually, the warp. If you wish to warp to. Welcome to the data. Turn off the screens. Do not disturb the neighbors. Do not speak of false tenants. Most people like the doors with a puppeteer symbol. Bring all of the doors a cool sticker. What? Only users with X. For for only problem. Pa pa pa. Do not put liquid soap inside the only cube. Yeah. Wait. Of child. 
Will Chaya, Felix Honecker, oh Felix, Henry, Huxler, Huxley, Bennett, Aiden, Mickett. That was... Aww. I mean, Ari, who is this? Dev, don't tell me you don't remember. My, my friend Henrietta. She always tells me to call her Anri, though. She was a picture for my birthday. So nice of her, isn't it? Do realm research. The Mechagokakura is one of these enemies, not like the others. Eden, the god, delusion, the joy of us. Oh. Oh, there's a bathroom, a toilet. I was like, oh, Popeye, it's almost scary for the argument he has because of inventions. Only a monthly supply for himself inside. Uh, take some. Oh. We come from a plastic bag in the bathtub. Yep. Also, why is there a plastic bag in the bathtub? So, the light... Oh. Oh, what's with that face? You look awful. Maybe I'm ending this early in the morning? <laughs> Whatever. It's cold. By the way, wasn't there a kitchen before? Must be the house's structure changing again. Try the second door on the right. Hmm. Yep, going on. One of over the coast. Nice. Across it's simulation flatland. Hmm. For his birthday. It's like more than any being in a. It's called Venus Flytrap. Venus for short. I think we wait its tail. Hmm. Oh, the TV room. The TV world. She got to stay. That's been its favorite show. It's supposed to be running soon. Well, okay, that means that here's the kitchen. So that means. Well, morning. In high spirits, like usual. Good morning, Banner. And explain why my bathtub is filled with acid. Just I think. And it free flees to be chased off them. Now uh, let's see if the scolding to iron Aiden. And neat freaks for fury can drag even Bennett out of extreme procrastination. Oh yeah, right. Oh that's a cute drawing. Book of truth. Puppet per purse to earth. Uh -huh, sure. And one no sleeping, no free will, despite it denying it, like cats to the alien's purpose. None false term disguised as human, was busy, high murderous, intent can eat soap. Puppeteers, F. To control, true realm, observers, government, realm, world government members do not interpret the fear with nature. Natural flow of events on this order too. Eos, Freya, Fry. Type. Or civilization between military time and space. Dangerous. Are we. Are we what? Lace. Leave them. Oracle purpose. I'm not like a season, but it cannot contain in. Now we're going full health. Um, population greater than those of humans, high IQ. Make as cute as cats, scary as maggots, or food very loud. Hmm. Understandable. Must be fair, probably. Death. What the hell? I actually removed this one to let this crew work as well. Or the others might be here. Oh, morning. 
good morning to you as well, dear girl. Hope you haven't forgotten that we have a piano lesson this evening. Ah, uh, of course not. It could be a pity if you missed your practice. Waiting for you in the piano room. Yeah. Come back here later. Okay. Jesus, they changed a lot since the last game. Oh, Lector. Mm, for, for, poor thing. Godwin. Also, I have a beautiful. It's still. I'm busy Archibald. Yeah, Baldwin. Back in the days, I used to be at the top of my class. I love being right answering correctly. I love being better. Things better than everyone else. Mother always said that I inherited my hard working mindset from my father. I was happy. I wasn't tough. Fragment deleted. It's just that one day my classmates said that. And one day the fog appeared, which each passing day felt my head become filled with it until I couldn't think clearly anymore. Become clumsy, absent minded, indecisive. Everything I to be, I suffered. One day I realized that the fog wasn't just in my head anymore, it was all around me, surrounding me, consuming me, shielding me. Huxley is operating on a patient and he's putting his own pieces together with super glue. Dr. Huxley. Oh, this gas mask is another one. How are you, little Charlotte? Oh, to come over here. You're not so little anymore. To think human children grow so fast, Felix hasn't grown an inch in these years. But look at you. <laughs> Some things just don't change, do they? <laughs> Dr. Huxley. Yes? How is he doing? Ah, oh, Felix, haven't you seen him upstairs? I thought you two got along rather well. Since my health started getting worse, we haven't spoken much. As if he's avoiding me. I'm oh, sorry, I was thinking a lot. It's okay, come for advice whenever you feel like it. Ah, uh, no, whenever would be a bad idea, as I'm a busy man. Um, um, how about making an appointment in advance then? Thank you, Dr. Huxley. I appreciate the sentiment, but you really don't have to. I sincerely hope you two make up. Especially since my cute nephew hasn't got anyone his age to talk to, just like Bennett. Ah, am I talking too much? You should hurry to school. Here, have a stick. Okay, that I can probably give to an elevator, which is... Wait for... Far... Hmm... Saving just in case. Not the library. Mom bought plans to live in up the room, but all the so. boom. I don't know. Mm hmm. Hmm. Tip on socialize every day. Socialization is a core element of the education program. Or any suspicious school grounds. Don't feed stray animals on school drums. If you ensure the safety of your fellow students. Hmm. Okay. If you moved most of these books to the basement, though it's mostly magazine on this shelf. I leave crush into your car, I kissed your cat, and this isn't bad brother. I don't trust a salesman, cold hearted, a janitor, off of psychiatrist. No, it was possible, but some of these Roman punk tiles have changed for the worse. Here I had to pay rise, pay raise, embraced all the time I knew.
barely lived longer than a year at our house. It's kind of sad to throw them out. Get broken. Lexi's handwriting. Take a regular day education room to say to him this week. Find the socialization of rhetoric pointless, thus unnecessary for an individual. I really believe that it is up to the student whether to socialize or not. Before the animation technology, we can bring back to life both deaf and hollow people life, even if they don't express sentient behavior afterwards. Okay, let's go to the kitchen and make something to eat. Mac food. I insist that he burns mischievous children on in it on Christmas. It is full of glass bottles, the smell of lavender soap. Meal is made of failed expectations and lost hope for humanity. Macpurs, that's a good kid. Okay, so with other words, I'm ready for school. No, I really don't want to leave like this. It greet everyone, right? The master's show you'll die on spot later. Who of you maybe don't you understand? There's a door that won't open for me. Ex in Charlotte. If, uh, so he's busy I'm busy too. And later we gay. Okay. Aww. Ah. Uh, what more? I've a little ride on time. Can you hold some of this useless chunk for me? Many labels or so talk to my sharp. Here you go. Is there a reason why there's a morgue room? Sure, thank you. Oh, there's a morgue room. in case. So on to school now to uh, no disturbing the neighbors. The door we need is the last one. Those to the rude. I'll leave this one to yourself. So are they? What a nice ticket you have here. Beat some sense into this freak. Two punches will make him respect the others, eh? Yes. I can be helped some. So we'll just, you know. We had something to use. We have a paper spray with us. Huh, so who's for now? I like apologizing. I have nothing to apologize for. Is that so? Why don't we cut out that tongue of you? He has nothing to say. Wouldn't it be too cruel to ruin such a pretty face? Then why don't we do something more fun? The take a step to one of the students notices me. And who are you? I'm, I'm sorry to interrupt, but... Shh! Haven't your parents taught you? Once is no good. Nice! Get that off! Huh? Run! Quick! 
Reach out for the boy, Rus. Steps it away. Ah, I didn't mean to. Ada, about that? Run. D. I like the I like those pictures. Run. They're they're cute. We run. We run, and our tiny foots. Take a leap down. Yes. Ew, we got away. Uh, are you okay? Please, too fresh. Too, throat hurts. Boys, boy pants, pants heavily. Barely standing. He's completely out of breath. Seems like P is not your best subject. It's so small. How did you distract them? All thanks to pepper spray. With the thumb size bubble before his eyes, Barely looks up. Ron says box cars and pipes are fine and all, but they are not as effective in a big fight. I see. What did you do to them anyway? As I have said, nothing. They're contaminated. I only comment com commented that on that. So that's what all the filth deal was about. More importantly, wouldn't these people target you? Why would they? Eh? There's nothing to worry about. Everybody at school loves me. Moreover, I will always have Seth on my side. What's important right now is that I help the fellow schoolmate. Schoolmate? It's our school's uniform you're wearing, aren't you? Is it? No, no, that's sorry. Got it, got it. Sorry, Seth gets grumpy when we're late to class. I can show you the way to the infirmary. Did you have a ball pit on there? It's interesting. Oh, I'm so blessed to catch a glimpse of our princess in the morning. Okay, understand. Here it is. The nurse here is kind. Still don't work. See, thank you. And the door. That's not a lot, but you know, I've seen stray maggots in the garden. Okay. That scared me. <laughs> Initiating socialization with me. So instead of fighting those mutated students, we have to socialize. If any skills, smile, most hard if like something school related. Uh, which part of the body do I talk to first? I wonder. Was over in Charlotte. I have to socialize my fight. That is interesting. Oh, there was no effect on the latest student. Okay. That's a good one. There was no effect. Okay. Yay! This is a socialization successful. I defeated some mutants. Not a bit. No. Wonder what happens if I go to the garden. Yeah. Anxious student. Okay. So you have to fight, and instead of calling it fighting, we just have to socialize. You get it? 
Okay, we go to the second floor. I don't remember this place. I guess it should be among these doors. Day one. Ah. I should go in here, so why? Sorry, I'm a bit lost here. Have you seen that same one? The very first door leads to the end, but you can't get there without a pass. Where can I get it? My friend from D3 had one. Go ask him. Oh, Jesus. So, um... But I'm so sorry, I already gave it to the girl from F4. Definitely should go there. Oh! F4. Uh. Oh. Why didn't you come sooner? I've already lost my pass in the bed. I'm gonna do this and beg for it. Want the pass? If you take my trash, I'll give it to you. Really? Yeah. Here we go. Quiet trash. Especially, why the fish do you need a pass to go to the clay, to your class? The other, the other rooms are okay, but, but, but yours is special. Finally, my head is spinning after all this running. My place. Someone taps my shoulder. Psh! Henry, what took you so long? I thought you were going to check homework for class. I bet I ran into some trouble on my way here. Oh, really? Not sure, Warhol. No talking in class, please. Where's your head? Really, I'll click her tongue. We're so sorry, teacher. You apologize too. I'm sorry. All right. Attention, everyone. We have a new student in our class. Please introduce yourself. Hello. There's no name that can define me. But you can refer to me as C. I'm the god of this world. Excuse me, what the fish? I was exposed with laughter. Do not be afraid. I won't be staying here for long. Take your seat, Mr. Wordsworth. Yes, starts. I try to focus on the teacher's speech. Ahem. So our topic is the trial and soul cubes. As you all know, since you've turned 15, you're now able to see your soul cubes. Soul cubes store your soul data, as the name implies. Ah, of course. I... The layer that soul cubes are just similar omni cube, omni cubes, which raises a controversy among our scientists. If soul cubes are omni cubes, then aren't we just meat armor they control? Exactly, yeah. I mean, the brain is exactly something like the omni cube. Sure, you have heard this kind of news. Just like any data storage, soul cubes can become corrupted. That's where the trial comes in. The trial exists for helping the de defective. The cubes will be formatted and debugged. Our school is proud to certify that it's usually one person a year, but sometimes it's two. Oh no. You all know the annual 70 75th trial will be held quite soon, which all of you will attend for the first time. Who can explain the purpose of the trial? It's for Correcting the, 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 the it's correcting the defective. 
Right. The trial exists for the sole purpose of providing help to our students. A public vote among students and teachers alike will be held to determine the distracted student among us. That's pretty sus. <clears throat> anyway. Tell me, who has a defective cube? Anybody? Remember, it's someone who uh, who will amount to nothing if not provided help. Now, that's how do we avoid cube precaution? We go to school. We abide the rules. We socialize. You mean fact. Very good. Now, let's proceed with the lesson. I see the people. Don't speak. Uh, look at Henri. I see together after all. It looks like she's about to cry. Did something happen? Oh no. I forgot my wallet. <coughs> Even though I wanted to buy us a meal today, I'm so worthless. Don't say that. I'll buy us something. Really? Don't do that for someone like me. You're not at fault, Henri. It happens to everyone. Yay, I'll be here waiting on the rooftop. Yep, yep, see you later. Let's go, Seth. Let's buy some apples and activate the warp point while we're at it, shall we? Hey, apples. I don't really feel like eating much today, sorry. Actually, I feel like I could throw up at it anyway. Okay, um... Okay. Did you see that? Don't impost there. I think we, he needs help. That's just... Uh -huh. yes, the trial will right all your wrongs. You're already an angel. If we had a student, try to that. No show, social damage. That sounds weird. Are, are there type differences or... food healthy food yeah so why wait a moment I see you there up there he's poking at the candy for this poking back um, hi again. Oh, hello. When did I join you? No, not at all. And he's waiting for me, but talking for a while it wouldn't hurt, right? You seem a bit better. Yes, it could have been worse if it wasn't for your intervention. Rose patched me up a little. She said I'll recover soon. Although I still appear to have trouble with verbal communication. I see. Is it true that you are the god of this world? Ah, no wonder you're curious. It is the only thing I'm sure of since my awakening in this form. In fact, I tried to get rid of this vessel immediately. But who would have known that a human spirit was instinct was this? I couldn't put a scratch on myself. I was afraid of the pain. Curious, right? Not only that, I do not know the reason why I'm here. Needless to say, it is not only a great inconvenience, but also a waste of time. I want to get rid of this body as soon as possible. But there is surveillance everywhere. Kind of ironic that the rules forbid health self-harm, but not violence, is it? Isn't it? 
Ja, 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 You don't have a, you don't hurt, hurt, hurt yourself, but if you hurt others, it's fine for me. Yeah, but however, I can instruct somebody to hurt me, which is technically the same, like self-harming. So, yeah, that's why I'm looking for a way out. Say, do you wish to aid me? When I return to my heavenly domain, I'll definitely. Look, she's about to jump. What, really? Did Isla? Huh? Someone's gathering by the windows. Somebody gasped. Not only, I find myself running outside. What's with the commotion? I can see. I know her. It's our class rep. Scarlet Isla. An all A student and the student council member. Of course, it's the student council. An athlete and unrivalry beauty. I mean, she, yeah, yeah, she kind of good. Always gets what she wants. An ideal person. We never really spoke, but she was always the one to establish discipline in our class. Now that I think of it, Scarlet the Isler was a scary person. Unapproachable and reserved. She gave off an air of intimidation by her very presence. I was such a strong person give up on her very life. Now I'll never know. A different sun shone upon the school. The students and the ambulance workers who arrived. Gala was no longer in this world. Hi, Aiden. Aiden. So you didn't forget about our piano? How could I? Good. Well then, come join me. We shall play a prelude to and it's about to unfold. This melody comes... feels familiar. Bring us the same time with me, Aiden. It's my pleasure. Oh, well, that's all really familiar. Okay. Good, it's luck. Okay, Dr. Huxley. Wait, 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 wait. To make friends in your spare time. Now comes with an extra booklet. How to get rid of him. Carefully cut through the membrane. Ah, oh, hello there. Shh, shh. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. Come on in. Since I've tortured Felix and Bennett from the first aid, they've taken interest in unidentified life for this section practice. Isn't it wonderful? Bennett refused to use anything but the chainsaw to cut through the specimen. So I had to kindly refuse his offer to participate in the classes. Deeply focused, he's always taking things and he does seriously. Ciao! Looks like nothing. Looks like nothing interesting. It's also like nothing interesting. Also nothing interesting. And Bennett. My guy is sitting on Bennett's lap. Meow. Shh, Bennett is sleeping. Bennett? Yeah. He's on the sofa while listening to static noise. I'm exhausted. Let's have a little nap, shall we? He 
exhausted to cover myself with blankets. Falling asleep as my head hits the pillow. Hi. To die, to sleep, to sleep, to sleep, to sleep, perchance to dream. Hey, the pangs of time, the rub for in the pile of troubles and errors of fortune. fortune. Ahem. Hello there. Push for that little speech test. The language is a bit tricky, but I'm a fast learner. You? Oh, show Charlotte is naked. Oh, no. Don't look so surprised. It's simply the form you might give us. Seems like despite your initial bravado, you're subconsciously afraid of us. So we took a more masculine form. Oh. Although the concept of gender does not apply to us. So they're bi. But they're gender fluid, actually. Hmm. Feel free to refer to us as Frei from now on, if you feel like it. After all, our appearances, appearance right now is the one of a meal. A pie fear. Oh. Am I dreaming? Technically, you are. Or the fact that we'll meet the next time you go to sleep, and next time after that remains. I slumber by day and wake up by night. I wasn't it us just a moment ago? Isn't it easier for you to talk to me this way? Yes, I suppose so. Look sullen. A girl from my class who committed suicide. I mean, I committed a sayori. A pity. Are your friends? We weren't. Acquaintances? Not really. Complete stranger then. Should it matter? Don't put it like that. We're classmates. You're sorrowful now that she's gone. But you couldn't care less during her lifetime. Have you ever had a conversation? No, I just... It was so unapproachable. An ideal person. What can a miserable person like me talk about with someone this perfect? Thinking that, you gave up completely. That's the same as being indifferent. No, it's not like that. You're exaggerating things. Only so that you will be honest with yourself. Wouldn't anyone be sad if somebody died? I'm afraid I cannot understand that. If that person wasn't important to you up until this moment, why do you feel down? down? No, even worse, you feel obligated to feel sad. Deep inside, you know, you know, have no reason to be. Why not be true to yourself? Human empathy is such a frozen concept to you. Empathy? Huh. You humans have a rather twisted understanding of it. If that of some specimen you weren't involved with bothers you, then why not bawl your eyes out whenever you see a piece of meat on your plate? I mean, you're kind of right, though. That animal must have suffered a lot more than some misunderstood teenage girl just to make your supper delicious, no? It's not the same, you'll say. I didn't. But in the end, it is. You're all... Ah, uh, you're all animals. Yet you're kind... Put yourselves above all. I mean, you're kind of right, though. Oh my, what a plot twist. Who would have known that the concept of empathy applies only to your fellow humans? Ah, it really never ceased to amaze me how you humans love to make a mountain out of a molehill. You'd never understand. How can you know the sadness of losing someone if you know if you and Pavius were all connected? And united you stayed, stayed even when somebody died. For us, when somebody dies, the connection is lost forever. Hmm. Do you really think it was always this way? That all Pavius willingly gave up their very egos for the sake of becoming one with everybody? Very loss. 
by loss. It echoes throughout the mind space. Stay in the fog if you wish to. Isn't it safer like that? Although I would love to converse more. It looks like it's time for you to open your eyes. Who can it be at this hour? Out of the security reasons. I see here. Open the door, yes. Wise choice. Good evening. No, it can't be. Since when did you start to use doors, Umbrella Man? Oh, I figured it'd be nice to be polite once in a while. In a while. Especially since I'm using this vessel. Let's have some tea, shall we? Uh, sure, come in. Now, now. What's with this suspicious look? I've merely come for a friendly chat. You see, I've received no orders from my employer recently, so I took this chance to have a small vacation. So you're stacking off? Don't put it in such an unsightly way. Believe me, even a workaholic like me can't let this opportunity pass by. After all, such a chance comes once in eternity. Roman chuckles at his own words. <coughs> <coughs> Wonderful, isn't it? I was supposed to this. You always seem so busy. And believe me, I truly am. But enough about me. Health school. Well, I helped a classmate today. Oh, you need you needn't have. Why so? I'll spare you all the details, but there's something I know for a fact. The boy was destined to die in that hallway. Hello. It's just cruel. He's a good person. He doesn't deserve it. It's not about deserving, my dear. It's just that this soul exist his soul existence threatens this world. I put it that way. As long as he exists, this route is doomed for a bad ending. No matter what you or your beloved puppeteer do. Ha! Huh? Ha! Huh? I hope I've made myself clear. Anyhow, I'm glad to see you in high spirits despite your worsening condition. Is it that bad? It wouldn't be an exaggeration if I answered with a yes. The circles under your eyes have gone darker, skin color, more pale than ever. Have you been eating properly? I don't feel like it recently. My, my, you have a doctor living under one roof with you. Why don't you pay him a visit? Or are you afraid to admit your condition has been worsening even more? You're right, I really should. Yet you have done so. I don't want to cause anyone any more trouble. Ah, so that's the reason you're reluctant to take mushrooms. I see, I see. Oh, you've... I used to be young too once, you know. That sounds weird when you say it, bring a boy's face. Hush, this is merely a whistle. After all, paid no mind. Anyhow, friendly chat aside, recently the number of abnormalities in this dimension has been increasing. Greens and door looks, looks malfunctioning, world expanding, people missing, a living hell. Do you know anything in regards to that matter? Have anything to tell me, perhaps? Well, the oracle has. My, my, don't tell me the slumbering god has awoken. Might it be that your body has begun to collapse under the pressure of the oracle's corpse rotting inside of you? When you put it in such a light-hearted tone, I'm always not, not worried of what will eventually happen to me. Death is merely a release, my dear. Still, leaving this world might be too early for me, sir. Well, man shrugs. Well, it is your choice. And it was your choice to stop taking the pills. I don't need those anymore. Right, right, you don't. Just keep in mind that the oracle is no longer the divine being you met three years ago. For it's not but the rotting corpse of a god, no longer sentient nor self-aware, with your very mind giving it shape, a parasite of your mind. 
That's what my employer would say anyway. And look at the time, I'm afraid I must leave. Or your humble puppeteer will scold me for robbing you of sleep hours. Right, Mr. Seth. <laughs> See you. See you, Umbrella Man. Stay well. Umbrella Man leaves. Let's talk with the Oracle again. Welcome back, Miss Waltrier. Sorry, I don't feel like talking. Is that so? Well then, I won't burden you with conversations. Then how about a bedtime story? Ah, uh, don't and don't stand so far away. Come sit beside me. So I'm not very comfortable around you. Is that so? Well, there's no helping it. It's all a dream, remember? So make yourself at home. Ren reluctantly sit beside Fry. Now back to the story. Do you know of the tale of the ink and paper princess? In our land during the pre oracle era, it was a part of psychological of a psychological test. Psychological test. It was made to be unfinished, and the one who read it had to write the ending themselves. It's surprising how much one can learn about another person just by having them write a few sentences. Want to listen to my own version? Only uh, I don't have uh, the other choice, do I? So much for free will, right? Well then. A pitiful ink blink ink black princess that looked for minds alike who ended up in prison of Paper Kingdom. But the story didn't end there. Time pet Time passed something. The two became acquaintance shortly after. The ink princess was freed from imprisonment. The ink princess taught paper princess writing, and no paper in the city was blank anymore. They obtained power known as knowledge. Paper princess couldn't be happier. Yet, having spent so much time with the ink princess, she became stained with ink princess's pitch black color. Day by day, paper princess became more and more soaked in jet black ink until she was indistinguishable from the Ink Princess herself. That would be the end of the story. You fell asleep, huh? By the way, hello there, Mr. Seth. That's how Miss Wiltshire calls you. <laughs> Not a joke. You must be thinking that you're in control. What are you even here for, I wonder? You aren't even supposed to exist in this world. Ah, I know. You must be looking for answers. But I'm afraid you won't be getting any. Because you see, Miss Wilchar is an unreliable narrator. Okay. <coughs> getting worse. What time is it? Oh no. Henry hates me when I'm like... It's... Wait, so Harry, you used to... Pour are you sure? Of course, silly. Skipping school is against the rules. You should know better than anyone. They will get up, go to school, and go back to sleep, remember? Oh, my yeah. Henry! Mary doesn't even turn her head in my direction. Um, Miss Warhol? I tap her shoulder. And he finally turns around. She's on the verge of her tears. Oh, Wiltshire. Yes? Why didn't you come to eat lunch with me yesterday? I waited and waited and waited. Till everyone left. Until the bell rang. But you never came. Irene begins tearing up again. I'm sorry, I guess I wasn't quite myself yesterday. I went home straight after that happened, you know? And looks me in a hug, hiding her face in my sweater. Her hold is so strong I can barely breathe. I thought you didn't want to spend time with me anymore. I thought that you hated me. I thought... I thought... I pet Henry on his head. There's no way that could happen, right? Friends don't let abandon each other. Yet you did the opposite, you liar. Please, forgive me. I want to... I don't won't do that anymore. Do you promise? I promise. 
You have to swallow a thousand needles if you break it. Ah, Jesus. Let's start our class. Today's topic is the bald. The house is the bald. Jesus Christ! The house has 11 floors in total. With its circular elements, structural animal elements, shake and Changing Fear Fear Localization On a mon Monthly Basis Time to read this All transportation In the house is Carried Throughout through using elevators and warp technolo technology. The food in the house is generated by Omnicubes. The well waste is disposed of bionic cubes the materials necessary for production are generated by omni cubes ah, i wish i could just flip this hey this it is what Speculated that the alarm floor is populated entirely by Omnicubes, whose intelligence exceeds humanity by 400%. Jesus Christ. Game, could you just be rational? <coughs> Not again. Are you okay, Miss Wilshire? I'm alright, I just need to use the bathroom. You may go. Wait, wait, right now. Anyway. Okay, there's how do I envy you always look so pretty I oh there's the bathroom that doesn't work a moment into the sink it becomes wrecked from the ink <coughs> there's a sea standing by the sink nearby my head must have been spinning so much that I didn't notice him he washes his hand and face again and again, frankly pressing the soap dispenser button over and over. Carefully place a hand on his shoulder. It stiffens at a touch. Stop it, you'll get blisters on your hands. I can't. I've washed off the most of the soap, but I still feel dirty. Oop. My fellow students smashed my head into a warm soup. Oh. Must have felt horrible. Yes. In fact, everything I touch feels contaminated. I just can't shake off the feeling of disgust. I see. So I'm conscious of myself. I remove my hand from... How about you? You don't look well. I've done better days, I have to admit. But I'll manage. Seth is there for me. Is that so? Oh, the lesson has I left my back there. See you later. I wave to see. He waves back with a little uncertainty, as if testing the new gesture. Hexcon. 
What is it, Miss Wolfsharm? I'm, I'm with you. I can't find my belongings. That's us. It's some accident that took it. So me, I go look for it. Teacher, can I go too? Why would you, Miss Warhol? Because I want to help, of course. Two heads are better than one. Okay, you can go. Henry runs to me with a happy gun. I'll help, Charlotte. Thank you, Henry. I appreciate it, Henry. I appreciate it. Oh, wait. Excuse me, what the fish? Sleeping obtained. Okay. You know what I have to tell you? It's a room. Okay. Garden. Golly. Are these yours? I don't know. And pins are covered in mud. Look, it's yours too, right? This text was cost a lot. Oh no. There's another textbook. I wonder who did this. I like this notebook. The pages are completely soaked. Maybe there was some kind of misunderstanding. There's no way it is. Up another world book. Did I do something wrong? In the pages of my book of truth, I will turn out. Even though I worked so hard on keeping you tidy. Those bastards, how could they do this to you? I think it's some kind of mistake. There's no way it is. I guess it's okay. Beautiful, unforgivable, unforgivable. Enough of this. I'll report this. To the teacher on release before I could protest any further. Looks like I have we found everything. I don't feel like going to class anymore. Let's go home, Seth. I'm home. Took a long enough. Hey, what happened? Is something wrong? You're covered in blood. Don't worry, it must be mine. That's exactly what I'm worried about, stupid. You need to see Huxley now. It's nothing important, really. Uncle Suru, no objections from the sick. Somebody drags me to the basement stairs, tugging me by the sleeve. What were you going to do? What were you doing, even? I talked to God today. Oh no, this looks worse than I thought. Might as well check your brain function, too. Should I start with... Good or bad news? Just kidding, I was planning to tell you the good news first anyway. Well, good news is that I know what it is. The bad news is that it's nearly uncurable. I see. So the, what exactly are these, uncle? Heart wounds, as I like to call them. Why? This kind of disease is quite common for those that are the lesson spirit, just like you are now. You're stressed, anxious, or hurt by words and actions of others. These wounds inflicted upon you will manifest as scars on your body, mostly on your arms, to be more specific. Not default, but it will cause you some minor inconveniences. The good side of to this disease is that although your body will become vulnerable, your mind will receive less damage. Isn't that wonderful? <laughs> I suppose so. Nothing to laugh about. No, no, don't be so harsh. Can you see our little miss already has a weak immunity to her environment? Whatever. I'm getting back to work. Do forgive him. No, I'm not angry. It's just that I don't understand why he is. I must be worried about you. Am I wrong? He shouldn't be. I don't deserve that. You must be thinking otherwise. Take care, little one. How will you? Very not, Seth will make sure of it. <laughs> I'm sure he will. 
Good night, Dr. Huxley. Sorry for troubling you at this hour. It's nothing. Remember my clinic's motto? Healthy people are not welcome here. So there, feel free to visit when you're sick. For now, I'll get back to work. Dear girl, I don't think it's a good time to end it, but... Aiden, is that you? What happened? I decided to take up cooking. And right now, it's going to be destroying everything inside. Ah, I see. I won't hinder you. Good night, Seth. Rise and shine. Ray watches around the room. As you can see, I've done some rearrangements in this place. Has it become lovely? I'll do something about the fog, too. Also, I've brought you clothes. Put your hands up. And voila. Now we're one of a kind. <laughs> Ray? Yes? What are all those books doing here? Let's call it a mind library. You see, memories are stories from the past that we retell to ourselves. Once they're gone, you're no longer the person you used to be. But I'm drifting away from the point. Stories are meant to be kept in books, right? Many books make a library. Exactly thousand. So, yeah. There, you can find every memory, every feeling, every action you've done or considered doing. All possibilities are written down right here. Some stories are better off being forgotten, however. I selected a variety of especially interesting memory journals for you. Be free to read them if you feel like it. And if your memory is still fresh, I believe your puppeteer will be delighted to know more about people you've associated with. I go with her. I met Bennett and Huxley. I was eight. On one of the days when I was home alone, they appeared out of nowhere at my doorstep. They were, they were small, rhythmic knocking at first. Knock, 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 knock. Repeating over and over again. I knew I shouldn't open the door. Mother told me not to do so. No matter what. Good children don't disobey their parents. Knock knock. When I was scared of the unknown, I crawled under the bed to hide beside the monsters beneath it. I felt safe among them. As time passed, the knocking got louder and louder and louder until I couldn't bear it anymore. I was adamant on staying under the bed. Until morning comes. Then I heard the door opening with a click sound. Someone came in. My room had no locks, so I ran to the bathroom. However, I was too slow. A fucker in a hazmat suit covered my mouth, and I had a hand caught around me in an iron hold. Shh! The intruder whispered. Don't make a sound. None of the I had a mask on. The one plague doctors from horror movies would wear. He spoke like a doctor in an understanding, polite voice. We're sorry to interrupt you, but I'm afraid we have no place to go in this cold and the other. Also, we have turned to express quite an inexact direction to our humble plea for shelter. After being turned down so many times, we figured we're far away, in, so you see, we're so very tired. You we'll live alone? The person in the hazmat suit asked in a harsh tone, hissing at me. No. Was my simple answer. The voice hoarse from fear. I thought of Umbrella Man and his quiet presence in the room, and how good would it be if he appeared sooner? It was nothing like these violent strangers. Hmm. Alright. Are you good at keeping secrets, the one? The doctor asked. Mm <clears> hmm. <throat> the only option I had was to nod in approval. Great. Bennett, dear. If you would be so kind to release the child, she's no threat. You're too trusting, the other grumbled. Am I? <laughs> the taller person let out a loud laugh, sending a shiver down my spine. You see, I'm a doctor, he continued, figures. 
Our my stay in this place is highly confidential, so I wouldn't like anyone on our tail. Please do respect it and keep our stay here a secret. If you don't, I'll kill your parents, Bennett said in a casual tone as if it wasn't a threat. Bernard doesn't come home these days, I replied, sad by the fact. Sorry, just your mother then. That settles it, the doctor beamed. Now, now, the one accompany us to the bathroom, for I'm uh, so awfully hungry I could eat a human. The smaller man um, elbowed him. Ouch! Sorry, sorry, that was a joke. About him. The doctor quickly backtracked. In the morning, I found the two peacefully sleeping in the bathtub, having eaten all of the soap and shampoo on the shelves. You? The next day, they settled in the basement. And a week later, it was doing all kinds of errands for their research, collecting. Why is there an F? Collecting bucks, buying a year's supply of soap with the funds in my money jar, helping to carry out bags with unknown contents on a daily basis. Of course, I made sure Mom never ever went to the basement at night. Roman appeared weeks later only to pat my forehead and reassured me that he'd keep an eye on them. We end. Oh, I was nine. Oh, a year later. It was during Christmas when I hid under the sofa in order to catch Santa Claus with a rope and a bottle of chloroform. What the actual Charlotte? The one who came through the fireplace wasn't Saint Nicholas, but a horned creature instead. A devil. Come out, mischievous one. I can see you, he called. Unwillingly, I had to comply. I think the chloroform behind my back. You're not Santa Claus, I declared, a bit disappointed. I'm already known by the name of Krampus. Oh, it's that guy. The beast answered, proud of himself. So Santa won't come, I sighed, sucking even more. Santa Claus brings gift to good children only. I come to punish those who misbehaved, the beast continued. But I'm a good girl, I declared confidentially. May I ask why you feel this way? Mom says so. Even though she barely sees you, how can she make it? That statement. Mom's ours, right? She always says not to talk to strangers. I added, pausing. The swift movement I brought a chloroform soaked towel to the creature's face. Seconds later, he was sprawled on the floor, motionless. It's a pity you're not Santa Claus, I exclaimed, hovering over him. Slowly, I dragged the body down the stairs to the basement. What's the commotion about? Two figures peeked out of the dissection room storefront. It was Bennett and a co-worker of his, Florence. Broad friends, why didn't you say earlier? Well, since he found the new bright yellow hazmat suit, it was no longer called B-12. Bennett was constantly in a great mood. It was barely any signs of the moody person he used to be. Mind helping me a bit? I smelled sweating. Sure, what do you want to do with this? Dissecting? Researching? Eating? Perhaps? Bennett asked mischievously. No, no, I want to become friends. You want to become friends with the campus? You want to become friends with a demon? That... That disciplines misbehaved children. In a way that I don't even want to think about. Okay. How do you plan to do that? Florence gave me a worried look. I looked at the ceiling as if the answers were there. Make him sign a contract, maybe? Perhaps that was mischievous. A mischievous child of all. Perhaps you would like to join me in reading. Yeah, alright, I won't bother you then. See, Power Princess. Excuse me?
Four days later? <coughs> Are you alright? It's nothing, don't worry. Just need to wash my face, that's all. Today too. Get up, go to Zoom, go back to sleep. Thanks. Who are you? Bennett? Ah. Huh. Oh, it's just you. Hi. Ah, it's a surprising you without the mask. Use the plant with the crowd in it. And safer considering the environment now again. Does your face still hurt? I bet not much. Not to the point of being unable to sleep anyway. Since Henry Roof removed the eyes from my internal organs, I've been just fine. Versus who's Henry? I think it was the doctor. Okay, that answers it, it probably is answered. But the, the second question I have is Excuse me, you have eyes in your, in your organs? I mean, you had eyes in your organs. Ah. Apparently, these orbs don't like when soap gets into them. Need to use the, the sink, right? Ah, uh, yes, I've been coughing up ink lately. Ink, huh? I mean, you should collect it. We can make a fortune on some pulp point pens. <laughs> Alrighty, I have to run. Gonna finish my business in the violent room before Game of Chess starts. And seemingly satisfied with his financial proposal is the bathroom. Wash my mouth and face until the ink stains become barely visible. Now oh, that's better, you know. Oh, right. There's something I want to get before we go to school. Oh, visit Felix, okay. Not just anything on And not, not now. Yeah, well, I kind of want to enter now. And it seems occupied. No. I don't even want to ask what he's doing with that chainsaw. Just saying. Hi. Good morning. I know that look. Do you need something? Oh yes, do you have a spare pair of gloves? Oh, what for? A friend. Oh, not a mutual friend, but an unacquired friend, rather. Don't tell me it's that god guy. Yes. He doesn't like germs, apparently. The god has missed off you, huh? I'm even surprised. Here we go. Thank you. Yes, yes. What a wonderfully helpful person I am. Now mind your business. See you later. Find C before what? Charlie, aren't you? Practically throws herself at me. A white smile is passed on her face. Oh, cute. I've missed you. Hey, hey, let's go feed the mad cats before class. The stray ones. So the rumor was true. Yes, they're in the garden. Come on, let's buy them food. Although I forgot my wallet again. It's okay, I can buy it. Really? Why don't we leave? Let's go, let's go. Alright, lead the way. Just have to find C later. Do I have any money? Oh, it's okay, let's settle for the cheap stuff. Then. How much is this chunk food actually? So, going to the garden. Meow, meow. Aww. <laughs> the mech has nothing against my hands. No need to f for formalities. I'm just a mere human. Bring out the snacks we brought. Today's special flavor is failure and impending doom. My cats has to eat with a meagerness. Good cats. Let's visit them next time too. Sure. Now then, let's go back and change for PE class, shall we? Oh, sorry. There's something I have to do before the lesson starts. But I'm here. What other business can you have? It won't take long, I promise. Is that so? Well done. Go on. I won't wait for you. Okay, third floor. 
Oh, wait. Puts on the book she was reading when he sees me. Hi there. Hello. Busy? Sort of. I'm gathering information on this world. Memories are incredibly out of order, which is a great con inconvenience. But I could find very illustrated manuals for express weight loss and lists of ways to become a billionaire by clicking pop up aids ads. Also, a collection of must read classics that nobody will ever read. I had you help with the organization of my mindscape, but it was an intra entertaining read anyway. The school library isn't the place you should turn to. Yes. Perhaps I should have taken the leaf that they were handing out on my way here. You wanted knowledge on sales in supermarkets? Then absolutely. Oh. Why don't I give you my notes? I has to bring out the book of truth from my bag. It's just my theories and observations though. They're a bit silly. Here you can. Here. You can have it. Here's the only to stop midway. He's breathing hitches. Sorry. I can't accept it after all. Why so? Ah, it's because it's not clean, right? I'm really sorry. Don't worry about it. How would I tell you everything I know? Ah. How about be kind of you? Then it's a promise. Something I can give you in return. You don't have to really. I want. Here. I wrote stories, you see. Perhaps you'll find it in the day interesting. You can throw it away after you read it. Don't worry, I'll keep it. Ah, I almost forgot. I brought you these. I had the gloves to see. You said you didn't like touching things, did you? He looks dumbfounded for a moment. Are these for me? You see someone else here? No, it's just... Aww. Thank you. You really needn't have done so much for me. Don't say that. I'm happy to be of help to you. Sorry, I have to run. We have PE class today. See you, see. Okay, it's the last one on the up. Something's off here, Seth. You think so? Look, look, it's down in the distance. It's really locked. It must be that the teacher exit knocked me in. The LTDs push me down to the stay rip apart my body. I thought I think black matter. Just what is this? Somebody. And kept flowing and flowing out of my mouth, completely flooding. Only all went black. I wake up, sleep ahead. Okay. Finally awake, I see. Let's look at this warped reality out bubble. The universe is expanding. Am dreaming? Not this time. You're perfect, perfectly awake. But you're here. Do you believe me? I'm as positive as you are. I see. They say, going through the looking glass. It's the classic symbol of dissociating from reality. Does that apply to you too? I don't know. Oh well, maybe I'm teasing you too much. Anyhow. It doesn't look like we'll be leaving anytime soon. I wish there was something to read. The type to read labels in food stores, huh? Might as well be. So, what should we do? Feeling adventurous yet? Well, it's better than sitting here. Let's look around. Triple-faced mirror. Yes. Up, up, up. Double faced. The red switch behind the mirror. Is it? Eh? 
Um, okay. Huh. Okay, they'll break because what the fish is happening. So let's continue, okay? Uh, you should be completed. Okay, um, mm -hmm. that looks important. So let's just moment. Hmm, isn't it Cattell's intelligence test? Seems fairly easy. I've passed one before. I'll leave it to you, up to you. Hmm. Oh, gee. Oh, hmm. Okay. Okay. Oh. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> okay, I I use the guide for this. Jirka, I saw your eyes sparkle when you saw the stress in the making. Want to try it on? I don't think I'm cut out for dresses again. Why so? What I see before me is a fair young lady. Why wouldn't a dress suit you? Look, it looks like it was made to be worn by you. I wear it proudly. Okay, I'll try to. You should let your hair grow. Wouldn't it look weird? Believe me, it wouldn't. You'll make a wonderful lady when you grow up. You're flattering me. Oh, it's my pleasure. What you want to hear about privacy? Such a curious tone you are. Well, well. Paris, the ancient race, the females of our kind go by the name Freya, as we're called Fry. We always just meet meet dolls we were coming from. Jorka appeared the world in divided into two factions. 
Globalists wanted their minds to become one for one individuals work against them. We the individuals started the God hunt to get rid of the Oracle and globalize. Why would you ask? When the death of ego. <clears throat> Of, of individuality would, would have meant death of all creativity and culture, and we wanted to prevent that by all means. The globalists were stronger. We used the oracle to take in on the ladder. I have accepted the oracle. That's when individuals started to commit mass sororities, refusing, refusing to give in. Our downfall began quickly, so we ran like cowards. Isolated ourselves from the world just to stay ourselves to the very end. No wonder many went crazy. Came paranoid of every sound in the space we inhabited. So we've built traps, mazes, puzzles, everything to hold back the intruders. I can beg you not to hold grudges against them. Sick, sick nation. I feel like the end is, uh, is soon. Or perhaps it's already come and all that was left were recordings of our former clock. Simulations of existence. Who knows? Perhaps. That little Mrs. Intruder will bring about our end. There was something small that causes big things to happen. Remember little John? For living beings, the Oracle is no god. It's nothing more than a parasite of our minds. While it seemingly granted our wish to connect, it was what destroyed us. The irony is that it probably isn't even aware of what it's doing. That's the boy you've modeled my appearance after. Curious. Are they true? The thing he said? No. I barely possess any memory of my life before I woke up in your mind. That is why you can't trust me, Mr. Fire. I'm not your enemy. I want to believe you, Fry. It seems like I don't know you at all. We're back. Thanks, science. Charlotte? Hey, wake up. Don't play dumb. Actually, what the fish is that? She's decomposing. No, no, this can't be happening. Wasn't the oracle supposed to be dead? You know, Miss Wiltshire? Yes. I had a thought there. It also may have been your thought. But that's beside the point. Maybe Mr. Honecker started distancing himself from you because he became afraid of you? Felix is not a coward. Is it so, then? Perhaps afraid is a strong word. He's just not sure it's you anymore. Okay, this is a bit more strong. He turned into a lump of meat right before his eyes. Wouldn't anyone have suspicions? I will not make it an Among Us joke again. Perhaps you're right. We can't go back to those days anymore. Very size. It's all because you took pity on me. And now you're doomed to face the consequences. That's all there is. Holy... Do a fix of what it says. Misuse. But can you from gifting everyone? Okay, yeah, it tastes like chicken soup. Pip um. Ah, okay. Wake up to someone not opening the door. 
I can now delete those number thing. Yes, I use the guide. Sorry for that. But 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 I'm not I'm not that smart. Okay. So uh, yeah. Oh, so you were here. I also thought it was weird that you never appeared after your class. Where did you get the keys? Surprising, all the doors opened for me. <laughs> As expected from God. Something wrong? No, why? You're crying. I must have startled you. Huh? Uh, why is it, I wonder? I mean, just a little tired. Here. I was just out his hand with a paper tissue in it. I felt red flowers bloom on my hands as I wiped my cheeks. Ah! Huh? The wounds are healing? Thank you, C, for coming to help. You're welcome. You should go ahead of me. There's something I need to take. Ah, alright. Take care. Uh, 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 like, where am I now? When do I need to go now? Actually, text titled The Story of Two Gods. How long ago, long before the universe was created, there were two. One was born with a power to create, a gift, the other was not. We only watch new creations come into life each passing day. So creator and observer they became. These were the names they gave each other. The single thing became real the very moment creator thought of it. So he created accidentally, chaotically, indiscriminately while the observer arranged his creations into structures, giving them order. How the world was born. However the bliss did not last long. Even after every single atom in the world was perfectly arranged, the gifted one continued to create, ruining all of that came into existence over billions of years. So for the world to continue its existence, the creator gave up his own life. I give you my power, he told his friend. Kill me and become the keeper of order in this world, he asked of his left round partner. The observer refused. How could he destroy the most important existence in the world? Please, the world creator begged. Save me before I became chaos in its poor form. The observer refused until the very last moment. The creator completely lost his mind, consumed by the growing chaos inside him. Unable to completely destroy him, the observer sealed the creator along with the part of that cared for him deeply. That tiny fragment of him became this world's only god. This world became the house. Former creator's existence became scattered all over the place. Okay. Oh, Bennett. Ow, ow, ow. Can you be more gentle? Stop complaining when this wound is your fault to begin with. Saving from this monster, human maggot. This monster is the one saving you right now, Bennett. Can you imagine this specimen on my table got bitten by a mutant spider and now he's too with his leg covered in necrosis bites? Are you going to treat it? If you're going to bladder blubber. I'm going to amputate it but it's just a bite I'm um, not to interrupt but does that mean that there are spiders in the house ah that one of our comfort workers actually broke the glass of a mutant terrarium so we are still dealing with the consequences but worry not it should be clean by now I think so much but it's itchy I'll step you over for a fork if you do. Yes, sir. Okay, so, um, there's spiders. So, uh, huh, I 
Let's see, let's just see if work is in the library. Hi. Are oh, you cute? Hello, Florence. You look pretty today. Yeah, <laughs> thanks. Thanks for helping me the other day. I brought something in return. Florence brings out a small cube. My, it's my Bennett blackmail blocks. There's some memories from his brain while he was asleep. Of course, like you usually do. Man, he really should cut, a, should cut down on the soap. It makes him so hyperactive. He sleeps like a log afterwards. I've already made the spare copies of this, so perhaps one of these cubes will be useful to you. Thank you, bud. Wouldn't you have trouble sleeping when Bennett finds out? Hmm. He can come find me anytime. <sighs> Understandable. Hi, Aiden. Busy. Good day. There's a dress I have made in color option with Henry. It's really a dark matter dress. Although the amount of actual dark meat in it is non existent. Want to try it on? Sure. It's any form you want it to take. Pretty handy, right? For now it changes only the shape. We're looking for a way to make it change the structure. The structure. Oh. Of extra hands of particle. Or a particle of them spawned from clothing wouldn't be so bad, right? I guess so. It's cool. You can have it. Thank you, Aiden. I'll cherish it. I can't lie, everything that's happening in this game is currently really tame. Go back to the other. That's the door on this table in half. Oops, Mr. Membrane over there. Hello, little child. Would you mind helping me for a bit? Sure, Dr. Huxley. What is it? I need you to carry this to the morgue room. Your crew members will aid you. Two crew will turn up. Baldwin and Goodwin. Sold by their name badge. Good me in unison. Alright. For me if the corpse starts moving on your way. Yes, sir. So the morgue is here. All done. Yay. Bye bye, Charlotte Miss That was uncomfortably polite. Bye bye, you two. The workers leave shortly after returning to work. Now it's time to go to sleep tip. Um. I close my eyes if someone's present because I'm a so man in a pitch black three piece smelling. Not so early. Father? No, it can't be. Father wouldn't miss me on this board. Right, umbrella man. Unfortunately, it's just as you said. As for disappearance, it's still my fear to this day. I'm more lucky to have more influence over you if you look like this after all. Or well, let's pretend I didn't say that, shall we? Haha, <laughs> got it. What brings you here? I've seen you collapse at school. Figured that I would pay a small visit. How are you feeling? I'm doing a game. You know, I learned new things today. The papyrus I met in their world were the ones who rejected the oracle. Well, it is true that initially Pythos didn't have a shared consciousness. The land Delphi was rather pro prosperous back in the day. I'd say their society was one of the very few that successfully adopted their ideas of communism. <laughs> and Oracle appeared many thought they would make their world a complete utopia. You see, even a young oracle is powerful enough to grant wishes. As long as it finds beings to form a symbiosis with, of course. Most of the wish to be connected, to be understood by each other. However, most does not mean all. The war between globalists and individualists was only the beginning. However, not even the globalists fully believed that the wish would be granted. So it became twisted. The tragedy is that their minds didn't become intertwined at once. 
No, the process was incredibly slow, crippling, excruciating. Imagine thoughts and feelings of other people I want to creeping into your head, buzzing in, in it until you can't tell which thoughts initially belong to you. Imagine your own mind exposed to others. Oh, Jesus, that's not a good sign. Your very embarrassing, embarrassing thoughts. Every fleeting feeling. Doesn't it feel humiliating? Constant headache. Loss of privacy without loss of ego. The god we worshipped was the devil in disguise. Huh. That's when the second god hunt began. Of which you had the luck to catch a glimpse. But the process of becoming one indistinguishable mess with the oracle went on and on. Until it consumed most of the population. However, they were still able to reduce their numbers to an astonishing degree. They almost succeeded in destroying the oracle, although it didn't mean them any harm. Just how the oracle is, you see. It's the failed expectations that made people violent. First, they were welcomed it in their hearts, expecting to use it to make their world a utopia. But as soon as it disappointed them, they got rid of it. Personally, I find it extremely selfish. I see. It's sad that it ended like this. It always does end that way. Especially among races that have a concept of free will, just like you do. Those of your kind are in constant need of something to worship, be it science, money, or powerful beings. Honestly, it's better to worship something that doesn't exist. Because fantasies never disappoint. Sorry, I hope I didn't use words that are too difficult to understand. Although you're almost a, already a grown-up. Well then, sleep well. Bye-bye, Umbrella Man. I close my eyes. Good night, Seth. Playing the piano in four hands. Wonderful, you're getting better. Safe, I... Hmm? I was thinking of the story you told me the other day. Why did the paper princess let herself become soaked in ink? Isn't it toxic? Why, yes, ink is poisonous. Then why? Because of love, of course. That's the only reason? It's the sole reason, in fact. It seems there is a fundamental lacking in your understanding of love, Miss Wolfire. You see, the final and the sole goal and of love is the loss of individuality. The more ultimate death of ego. To love is to sacrifice your ego in order for two to become one. To mold your thoughts, beliefs, hobbies and character traits into one. It is why Paper Princess became the same as Ink Princess. They became one of a kind. Unless you're willing to be willing give up your ego for somebody else's sake, you can't claim that you've known love. You know? I find the concept of loss of individuality rather fascinating. Or to Christ, the greatest sacrifice of all for an individual. Oh my. Looks like it's about time to you walk up. I should be how faces. Hmm. Morning, Seth. Let's get up to go to Zulu and go back to Zulu. Okay, it's just warp. Hmm. Where is absent today? I wonder if something happened. Let's start our class. Today is a drawing lesson. Oh, I like drawing. 
We will also draw flowers, landscape, political leaders. Okay, flowers, understandable. Landscape, understandable. Political leaders. Okay, something say this is up here. Also, why am I only restricted to that? To those three kinds of drawings. Okay. Continue. But it looks like it's only those three. Mm, I would like to be a little more creative. So can I have... Can I be just... Draw anything? In other words, to draw what you want. Okay, fish you too, headless teacher. Like, why? I want to draw what I want. Okay, so fish you. You can literally... Yourself in the butt. I would like to say in your face, but yeah, if you don't have a head, then where's the face? Are we clear? It has not. What should I draw? I wonder. Some flowers. I draw poppies. That's bad. It's lunchtime. Why don't we eat on the fruits of the room? Then we can check on the maggots. So, uh, junk food or healthy? Okay, go to rooftop. So. Rooftop must be in here. Oh, hi, see. See? The boy turns around, only to reveal a face covered in band-aid. No way. Have we gone been up again? As you can see, well, I did refuse to take out trash during cleaning duties. It's unfair. Why do they pick on you? Well, must be disappointed in me. That's why they're upset, furious. Because I'm a misophobic god stuck in a human body. How can they worship me if I'm powerless just like them? I mean, still, remember, I won't be in this vessel forever. In fact, I'm looking for a way to get rid of it. But it's almost impossible in the house, let alone school grounds. But I think I finally found a way to go back. Who knows, perhaps I'll return to my domain faster than one could imagine. So, you're, you're leaving soon? Everyone does leave eventually. Anyhow, do you feel like joining me for lunch? Sure. Then on one of the benches. I tell C about the oracle inside of me. Both puppeteers and observers, pythons and executioners. I tell him everything I know. He doesn't ridicule me. In turn, C reminisces about his past experience and other worlds he's been to. You know, I remembered something today. A memory of another human vessel I used to have. I was in a land where half of mankind ascended and were blessed with a gift. The gift that left the planet and built a city in the skies and was given the name of Aether. It was made pure white and those who lived there all had white hair. A gift of course sell up a potosis so everything I touched directly with it the very next moment. That was how my mother died. Right after giving birth, she cradled me in her arms. That was fatal, a fatal mistake. These with gifts as dangerous as that were kept in isolation from civilians, myself included. So the only thing I ever intact was a virtual parent and a few other devices. I was afraid to touch living beings. As if trying to remember and something else. Sadly, as far as my current memory goes, I cannot remember further details. It must have been lonely. Loneliness is a human emotion. To a god, it's a virtual to experience it. I see. Well then, I plan on continuing my research. See you later then. Should go feed the mechat stuff. I bet they're waiting. 
Pa, pa, pa. Out of the cowardly reasons. Because I don't like the color green. Right now. I knew it. It did. They're all dead. Jesus, that's, that's, that's a face. It's a bit of a terrifying face. Someone puts a hand on my shoulder. I barely feel its presence. Pets aren't allowed here. You knew that, didn't you? So nobody is responsible for what may happen to them. I played with these maggots. I gave them food. I tamed them for it. Yet, I couldn't be there when they needed me the most. I... Or the Oracle, Fay. Can't you do anything? I was the Oracle, Miss Wiltshire. Everything that defined me as the Oracle has perished. I do not bear memories of my past, nor do I possess all extraordinary powers. Therefore, I am the Oracle no more. It is you who defines me right now. I would really still greatly exhaust you. You use even a pint of my energy consciously. Your life systems will collapse just like the last time. And returning that back to life is no laughing matter. As long as you reject me, we will eventually drain each other and perish. When we merge over, we shall obtain great power. The question is, are you willing to give up your ego for the sake of someone or die an individual? Think about it. He walks up to the heap of small bodies and crouches beside them. For all little things. Let's give them a proper burial, shall we? I'm wearing the dress and nothing else. Ahem. Before you start our lesson, you have an announcement I'd like to make. As you all know, pets are not allowed on the school's territory. Yet it seems like some of you have been feeding them against the rules. Just to make it clear, the cats in the garden died because of food poisoning. Eh? I see, junk food is incredibly toxic to animals. Especially one containing xylo Dilutol, which is most commonly used in snack preparations by Charlie's Junk Foods. Whether you did this as a prank or not, it's incredibly cruel to kill an animal like that. So whoever did it, make sure you dispose of the corpses in the garden. The guards aren't your janitors, so I want you to take their responsibility yourselves. No way. Can't be, can't be, can't be, can't be. They're deaf. It was all my fault. No, no, no. It's because they were hungry. It's because Henri told me to. It's because Seth decided to feed them. It's because I was made to do this. Huh? Miss Wilshire, are you okay? I knew it. Wilshire killed those cats. No, no, it's not like that. I just wanted to help. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <coughs> Thing kept flowing out, making me unable to catch my breath. I choked on my own words. It's all my fault. I wake up in tears and snot. His face hovers above me. How are you feeling? Why are you here? See, what are you doing here? You don't remember? I carried you here. I've caused you trouble. Though I know how much she hates dirty things I... It's okay. As I thought, you became targeted because of me. But don't worry. I found a way out. Let's go. Where to? What's happening? I found a way out of the house. Trust me, it'll be okay. 
There'll be no guards, no classmates, no routine in the outside world. No one will raise a hand against you either. But what if we don't like it out there? We'll go back, right? Right, we will. Well then. I'm afraid we can't waste any more time. Let's go. The elevator goes to minus F. It is if it's activated on this floor. The floor we need to get to. All the doors open for me. So getting further won't be a problem. Be careful not to alarm the guards. The moment they find us, find us it's over. This place looks deserted. I'm sure it's okay to wander around here. Don't worry about it. Let's look if we can find a shelter here. This is on the entrance of the Pardon the storm. Oh, still a customer. Did you really think that something else? The region of modern energy is covered in big. Don't need uh, I don't. Money all authorities over there. What? Delta. ATM. Don't tell me you have nerd of it. And now I see. Sorry, we don't really need anything. Thank you for your sir. Come again, I'll be paying for you uh, look. Hey. Yeah, I can go up there. Top of knowledge. Did you know knowledge is produced to be sold? If it's true or not. Who cares about that anymore? Anyone storing all of our information? You all didn't forget the second hand knowledge. I've got it all in these pillars. But you're a minus, so I can't tell you how many. Or distilled knowledge of orange flavored chewable tablets instead. You will pass. Thank you for your time. This is just living field. Although I don't have my wallet with me. My computer is very mad. You. This is only an anti easy protein mixture, no? For the panic attack prevention band aid. Well, I give you a memory as an example. So we don't have anyone, then why do you even enter the shop? The people wasting time on you get lost. I'm sorry. Welcome. No, you seem troubled, I can tell. So you women's rights with... How about I sell you women's rights at a 10% discount? What the fish in hell? Get gender identity rights as free stick. Okay, that what is, 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 is getting weird. Or would you prefer freedom of speech? Or if you give up your rights to life, you can't get any can get many other ones from the points you earn. Let's see. Yeah, indeed. Look, there's no place for us here. Let's see what's ahead then. That's ahead is a maze. Suddenly I feel weak in my knees. Next one I lose my balance in a coughing fit. He grows the Are you okay? No, I just remembered something. My eyes reminded of me. See, it must be a pay for me. Can you stand? Sure, don't mind me. Oh, hmm. By the way, how long have you been with Seth? 
Why was it to me when I turned 10? I see. I was thinking that your puppeteer is a little unusual. Why so? You see, as far as I remember, there are four types of them. Adam, Eve, Seth, and Lilith. Adam is incredibly masculine. Eve is gentle and family oriented. Seth is the wisest. Lilith is the most trist. Usually it's either Eve or Lilith who get assigned two girls. The one that the male puppeteer is watching over you. Uh -huh. Seth is special in many ways, I guess. Maniac, kinda. Well. Excuse me, what? It's no place for us to say, too. Tell me, something wrong? I thought it would be a brighter place. We should go back after all. So, go back to that place. So, that would be... But again, if you stay here together, we'll be okay. We're hiding the fog, we'll be okay. We'll be okay, see. So, let's go back. Bill laugh, then he looks at me. The world that's reflected in your eyes. It'll be a wonderful place. It must be a very kind world, full of color. But it's not the world of what I am. I see. To me, it's a bleak, disgusting place. There, he is unpleasant. Believe me, this contaminated land isn't the place we belong to. But where can we go? Isn't it obvious? I don't understand. I found a way to go back to my initial form. The pack of pills. I took these from. I'll have to intake is rather big. I've made sure there's enough for two. Huh? You still get it? There must be... What well, they say this, I... Was, was they come out a bit shakily, but his smile is still present. I want to go... To take you with me, to my heavenly domain. We will get rid of our heavenly heavy bodies, and rise above all earth dwellers. We the ones to purify this world. I accept it to be your decision, not somebody else. I want to hurt see but wouldn't going with him mean I'll leave everyone behind? If I'll leave it to you. you are, if it's you, you'll surely know what to do. Well, actually, there's the, I can actually really choose, but I, uh, for real though, take this end. People smile as a black is a blind. Would be a genuine smile filled with sincere credit. His hand would tremble in his mind. He'd be still anxious, unsure, afraid. I will tighten my grip a little to reassure him everything's okay. Here is a human emotion, see. Soon enough it will disappear. We will Bam bam, no officials, and ascend to your divine domain. We will become gods. Together, we will bring order to this world. Our pollution, everything, says, will be purified. The dirty colors will be cleansed. Will be pure white. We will become happy. Oh, take this in. His eyes widen. Fear a growing lump in my throat. It's impossible to speak. What that you don't understand? See, please listen. Even, even if you're scared of this world, even if you hate it, even if it disgusts you, I, a deep breath, I want you to live. It's barely a whisper. The words reach his ears. His breathing becomes erratic. His knees give in. It's a panic attack. I watch him break down in front of me. My eyes feel dry. You're on Pharisee. It's me who wants to cry the most. There's no place for us to go. A corpse of a god lost behind my back. My sides. Could it be any more dramatic? 
I think I all high and mighty. Yet you've been saying it all for your own sake. The one who doesn't want to die is. I cover my ears. You, Miss Wolfshire. Despite all the self-harm, all the big dreams and fantasies about self-sacrifices and whatnot, you still want to live your pathetic life until the very end. Please stop. Just a minute. That you're afraid to die. Deep down, you don't actually believe there's a place like heaven up above. Do you? In worse, there's nothingness awaiting you. You'll die only to achieve complete solitude in an empty space of an afterlife. Not even your beloved Seth will be there for you. Why would they stay with you when you're bored? To death when there are no quests to complete. Admit it, if your puppeteer is with you only as long as they're entertained. Shut up, shut up, shut up! I want you to be honest with yourself. We both know it, right? That everyone only wants to use you. Shut up! But why should it matter? You have me, Miss Wolfshire. Even in the cold embrace of death, I won't leave you. There's nothing to be afraid of. You should have let this boy die already. One for a grasping phrase throat, squishing it with all I have. Well done. And strangling for you with my own hands. It's getting hard to breathe. Just want you to open your eyes. Look, can you use see this boy? He's dying to disappear for good. He doesn't want to be safe. Make my grip harder. It hurts. He opened up to you. And look what you've done. You're the cruel one, Miss Wolfshire. I... Here they are. Seize them. So would you be so kind to, to explain yourselves? I... It was my initiative to leave the house, sir. I forced Charles Wilshire to come with me. Miss Wilshire, is this true? He looks at me expectantly. It is. Then, Mr. Borfsworth, Bortsworth, can I ask you for reasons for violating school rules? Well, of course. I wanted a breath of fresh air. It's unfitting for the god of this world to be inhaling such stale air every day. I ended up dragging Miss Wolfshire along with me, against her will, since she didn't feel well. I sincerely thought that would help her recover, you see. I see. Wolfshire, Wordsworth, you are forbidden to leave your room until the day of the trial. As a punishment for your behavior, you'll be robbed of all social points you had until this day. Miss Wolfshire, you are awaited in class at the usual here in ours. I'll have an appointment scheduled for you at the lab laboratory. Considering the situation, medical tests will be absolutely necessary. Then we're going to have a counseling session in regard to your indecent relationship with classmates. After the trial, of course. Now, return to your rooms, if you will. You needn't have covered up. I only told the truth. Still, you've lost all the social points. There's no way you can get past the trial like this. How about that? There's something I'd like to ask of you. What is it? If possible, please, don't vote for me in the trial. If a sacrifice has to be made, it must be me. Don't Put it like that. It's my only wish. I don't belong to this world. It's only natural that it rejects me. That's why I ask of you. Please, don't bolt for me. It's my last chance to leave this world. Just like that, we parted ways. 
Rollersman's words ring in my head. You needn't have helped him. Grace's words followed. He doesn't want to be saved. Freshman me of C's plea kept replaying over and over. Please don't move for me in the trial. Seeing his means for I drive with a force with forceps. A box full of dehydrated blood bones is standing on the table. As usual, frowning exertion is a percent. Come on, seal your mouth. Come, Mr. Flood. After a moment, he notices my presence in the room. Ahem. Can't sleep. I sit beside Felix. The flight up now close seemed to be enjoying his meal. I can make you pe 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 peppermint tea. tea if you want me to. No need to. It's okay. Say, do you still remember the time when we went to the Oracle's world? Felix doesn't look in my direction. There's no way I'd forget, right? The thing that happened in the end. But it looked like to you Felix hesitates for a moment looked like you melt you melting into biomass right in front of me what it what did it look like to you then it was like holding hands with a beautiful girl messed up right my whole head is messed up still stay true to the routine like I advised you, I do. Get up, go to school, and back to sleep again. I believe that as long as I maintained those simple rules, my mind wouldn't crumble without the pills. Then perhaps you should go back to taking the... No! I can't just do that. You disappear. If everything disappears, I'll... I'll... Sorry, forget it. The trial is coming soon, too. But if you get chosen, I won't. I've made some friends. And I've done some socializing too. So, there's that. <laughs> yeah, I, I've done some socializing too. Um, um, beat literally the crap out of Wolf Talk. Hey, how's it going? Oh, critical damage. <laughs> critical hit. Fish. Um, anyway, is that so? I'm sorry, I can't be of help. It's okay. You've already done for me more than you should have. Besides, I'm already a proper grown up. So I should be able to handle my problems myself. Right, you've grown out of toys. But honestly, that may naive fit of yours is unbelievable. Only the atmosphere in the room changes. Well, man, didn't we agree that you wouldn't touch house um, tenants? Oops, I forgot. My bad, my bad. Are you afraid I'll, I'll hurt them? A problem man brings out a scalpel from Felix's lap coat, bring it to his throat. Feel like remembering all times? Wait, stop it! <laughs> Although your reaction would be undoubtedly amusing. It's not in my interest to have you completely and utterly mind broken. Man doesn't put the scalpel away. Still playing with it in its in his hands. Why do you come, my brother man? No specific reason. How's your new friend doing? Not so well. I've heard him. I see him. The man laughs in Felix's voice. He sends shivers down my spine. Anyhow, I came to give you a friendly advice. Oh, I want you to choose wisely during the trial. If you do, who knows? Perhaps you can save a life. That's all I can say. Bye bye. Next moment, a brother man is gone. Look like you've seen a ghost. It's nothing. You should. I should really go to sleep. Thank you for time, talking to me. Good night, Felix. Good night, Charlotte. There's already, but I don't want to sleep yet. 
can see if anyone's still awake. Oh, hello. What is this, dear girl? Can't sleep? Yeah. Make tea. Which one would you like? There's a long honey bush. Jasmine. Jasmine. Green roy bush. Good morning tea. Gunpowder green. What? Earl grey. Lady grey. Christmas mix. Japanese lime. Japanese lime will do. All right. I'll add a spoon of honey to it. Sorry for interrupting your duties. Pay it no mind. Unfortunately, my inspiration often comes at night, rendering me completely unable to sleep in peace. I see. So what is it that troubles you? If it's anger you need to take out, the piano room is always open. Haha. <laughs> I don't think imagining chords in the middle of the night would help this time. And what is it? I I guess I'm just tired. I want to rest for a while, but whenever I close my eyes, the slumbering god haunts my dreams. When I wake up, new troubles only keep piling up. I see. Why don't you spend more time in the dressing room? Might have a few dresses you haven't tried on yet. I'm short on feedback, especially since Felix refused to help lately. You see, he has to stand up build, and you've been so busy at school lately. I got it, I got it. Thank you, Aiden. I try to visit more often. Just to remember also. When I was born on, I had two races, I think. Humans and all women. Looked the same, yet our roles in society were completely different. Soon as a designer baby in the lab, lab of human resources. We type born to live on nutritional soap as a lab rat for testing prosthetics. Of the sole purpose of a sticker saying safe for skin approved by leading dermatologists on a tiny tube of cream. B types are good, good looking and have good stamina. They're used in commercials, the movie industry, and medical tests. It has are the smart ones. They're fated to participate in intelligence tests. Surprisingly, Paris. We had this Paul guy appearing on the TV all the time, predicting match results and making weather forecasts. He died of overworking. People said the living stock. Used to mess for best producing meat products and candles. Pieces of clothing sometimes, but it's banned in most areas thanks to some activities. There's a it's a word used to as pests. Third, the workforce days to the most dangerous places like new swing measures and such. For the panel, special the achievement system was developed for us to stay motivated. I collected MP, which stands for motivation points. We could be traded for rewards and eventually a promotion to a higher rank. Goals were simple. So one, smile when it hurts, then smiles out of 60 collected. Best buddy, if your friend is feeling ill, report immediately. Five reports out of 10 collected. After somebody was reported, they never came back. I like the most MP I could, I wanted to get out of be among any types and the promotion they came. When I moved to the other department, I didn't have to test cosmetics anymore. I was to become a test subject for medicine instead. To be perfectly infected with a skin disease and have all kinds of treatment tested on me. My hair fell out, it grew back. My balls were full of ulcers after I took an experiment when the virus stored. I vomited and vomited and vomited all food during charge, turning sour in my mouth. It felt like my insides would come out through the fagus. I don't know what this word is. Rinse and repeat. Rinse and repeat. Over and 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 over. I feel sorry for Bennett. One day I was accidentally infected with a plague. 
or our plaque. An incurable illness that made eyes grow on both the skin and internal organs of the infected. Ah. Naturally, I was scared of a disposal. I spent a month in isolation. Thinking it was the happiest time in my life. The disposal came. He's on his tummy, there's, there's two sides. Okay, there's only two sides, good to know. I was in the lab called Kevin, looking too young to be an executioner. Hi there. Nice to meet you, I'm Henry Huxley. I know you're a scheduled for disposal, which by a lucky coincidence is today. But it's been cancelled just an hour ago. Just when I signed papers for your ownership. Sounds better than dying, doesn't it? Better be dead, Mr. Huxley. Uh, it's that sarcasm I'm hearing. Ah yes, they must have stopped giving you a uh, intellect suppression for they are not cheap. Oh, would be such a waste to give them to have defective specimen, am I right? You know, I'm researching eye plague. Yes, yes, the uncurable eye plague. Which I'm going to cure. And you, my dear, are going to become the face of my success. You see, it's the first time a B-type got infected. You're too valuable of a material. And it's a fact that your specimen are the most beautiful of all types. As you're constantly used in commercials. So, it wouldn't be an exaggeration if I said that you were chosen for a pretty face. And timing. Timing was also crucial. Just recently I've realized that I've less than half a year to complete my thesis. That is a little troubling. Madman. Yes, I am. Or not, we'll become the stars of the modern time. Science bless us. Meaning marked the beginning of our alliance and people started dying in the name of science. Huxley's utter lack of empathy for both Obermen and men alike was the exact reason he was the most successful among his peers. He brought me different books. One of them was Dummy's Guide to Cooking. A good part of it was dedicated to cooking meat. If an animal dies in distress, its meat will be hard to choose. That from regular intakes of soap, my diet consisted primarily of various greens and products high in protein meat include. When I had decided to ask, What kind of meat is this? I inquired of Foxy, who was vigorously waving his hands in the air. As I'd learned later, he was using a VR environment to work. Of C type of your kind, I believe. But not turning away from work. The greatest jealousy of our time. To the feast of gods. Feel like vomiting yet? Yet it? Generally curious. No. I took another bite. You mean it was incredibly tough. Actually bought me books and taught me reading and writing. I reckon it has my particular capabilities like he was kept in good physical form. He talked too much. Spent more time with me than he should have. The day Henry Kurt Iaplake was the day he told me to get into a body bag and declared me dead to the whole this society. What's happening? I asked. You're leaving, was his short answer. As it turned out later, his Henry Iaplake was just a facade. But Henry Huxley was actually testing where the capability of a human specimen. Only to confirm that men and other men were no different from each other all along. As he boarded his spaceship, he began quickly explaining that we are a threat to society. And he found a cure from my book long ago, and now he only used it as an excuse for doing the other projects. That we need to find a new home. We need all the money we needed on the day we arrived in the house. That's how we ended up living here. That's stuff. 
Oh, bleiben wir mal. Jetzt kommt die Tante, dass nichts ist. Very close to the memory he's reading when he sees me. Long time no see, Miss Wolfshire. Look, don't make such a sour face. I want to make up with you. I've been doing some cleaning lately. They can't be a can't be of help in the real world. I figured I'd help clear up your mind at the very least. Look, hasn't it become less foggy? I suppose so. Ray beams with excitement. Right. But why would you do that? I never asked for this. You see, I read in your memory journals that you were lamenting the fact that your mind had become foggy over the years. And I figured it's in my power to aid you. You might not notice the changes immediately, but they will soon took play, take place. I see. Very lightly embraces me. Nothing against my hair. Don't worry about a single thing, Miss Fulshire. You'll soon see that this world is not worth staying in. We dreams, princess. And I think it's a good uh, part to have it at the uh, break here, so the next day, so one is here. Okay. Nothing happens. Seems like the warp cube is broken to have a way around. Okay. security reasons so this. your service don't come again that's why using the warp cube against it yeah, so maybe it's changed his mind um this is getting weird Okay. This is, you should organize into groups of three. Too far away. I already found someone to work with. We have enough people, sorry. Yeah, sorry, I need to socialize first. Okay, we're full. Good enough, well, yes. Psst, are we? Really worthy of being in Wolfshire's group. I told you. Then it's decided. Sorry, beautiful. Mr. Hmm. Shaw, will you be working alone? Yes. Yeah, I'll work with Phil Shaw. That wonderful. Don't you are this good? Hey, hey, let's work together, Charlie. Right? Well, then, let's start our lesson. You're so hungry. I could have guessed. Buy us something, okay? I'll be uh, like usual. Hmm. I saw you milk on the Oh, I didn't. Give him a lunch to myself. Ah, it's not a good thing. Out of security reason because I don't like this. I don't like this at all. Just on the bread I bought her. 
No, Charlie, there are rumors about you and Vincent going around in the school. Who the fish is Vincent? What kind of relation do you have? Relations is also way too heavy, Henry. Not sure. Talk to me after what happened. After what happened? Can be. It's just as I thought. It's after your body. What? <laughs> what did you do? To do exactly? Nothing much aside from the ascending to the heavens thing. Oh my god, what? Bastard. He didn't do anything bad. I mean, there's no reason to. Shut up! Might be a little dense in the head, but let me tell you. Why do we have a box cutter here? Why should we act all mysterious only want to, to use you? Um, technically. Also, you are also not really yourself. You may hide it for however long way you want, but I know you're quite well endowed. Excuse me, what do you mean by that? Was nicht der Zika? Go on, with my mouth with my hands. Stop it. I need to break three of my group of ease. <laughs> you look like a tomato. By the way, why don't we go feed the strays today? How do you know? I may cats be fed. Yes, what about them? I've... They... Put all up in my throat. They're dead. Oh. And it's all my fault. Me who bought them bad food and... And... What are you talking about? Josefo didn't do anything to stop us. Tomorrow, they ate it themselves. I could have done something. Seth would listen if I simply told him that I, that they, and began shaking again. Feel the bullious ink rinse in my throat, rise in my throat, and he puts your hand on mine. Listen, repeat after me. It's not my fault. I hesitated. She goes my hands harder, my pretty nail sticking into my skin. Do it. Not my fault. Fault. Not my fault. Fault. See, it's not that hard. <sighs> I liked her at the beginning, but now I hate her. Right. Hmm. I still look down. Is there something else that worries you? Well, the trial is soon. I'm worried that the choice I'll make will be the wrong one. Why so? The vote for Henry, right? And you won't get angry at you for that, silly. That's what friends do, after all. Or am I wrong? Uh, that, like, yeah, but uh, at the same time. I. Well, I'll probably withdraw my from voting. Huh? You don't consider Henry your friend anymore? I do. It's just, I don't think the voting system is fair. Is that so? Whatever you want, then. And he doesn't care. Oh, bell rings. Go back to class, Henry. And you'll join you later. Okay, until then. Later then. Bye-bye. Back ever wondered if Henry was always this forceful. Little feeling happy after our lunch together. Like usual, I felt incredibly humiliated. There's something I want to tell you. Come to the roof of his glasses. What happened? Quickly. This is getting weirder and weirder. Oh, no, no, no. Should I? Have you seen a boy around here? Hold her down. The long and playing god by waving that spray around her. So, who do you think you are? Some princess royalty or maybe? 
Yeah, too long by school norms. Hey, why don't we help our dear schoolmate out? Wait, what is this about? Just brings out scissors. The two hold me down, making me unable to move. Snip, snap. A lock of affair falls on. Keep quiet about it, okay? We might accidentally cut more than your hair. Please, don't cut it. Look, she thinks we'll listen it if she asks. Be such a pity if our little princess got bald all of a sudden, right? With scissors, you, you can't go bald with scissors unless you cut off her. Hey. Zip, 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 zip. Few new locks. Where I felt only felt my thing good and humiliating. Being punished for. Why does it feel so humiliating? Was there one always like this? Let me figure appears before me. Shouldn't you call for help, Mr. Wolfshy? I don't want to trouble anyone. Who was the one to teach you that? Was it your mother? You a good girl? You're always me, wins in the end. You'll be kind, others will be kind to you. Violence is bad. All your life, you're being manipulated by others. All because you care too much about opinions. Because you want to be loved by everyone. And when things don't go your way, you'll find excuses. Don't you have any pride? There are things worse than getting beaten up. Going through such humiliation when all you have to do is take my hand and everything that's unfair will be will perish. It doesn't matter if it's just me who will get hurt, Trey. No. You both know that's a cheap lie. In fact, you want somebody to save you. Very much so, but they are not to task of it. Because you deem yourself unworthy. No response, huh? Precise. So where are your so-called friends when you need them the most? Friends can't always be there for me. Yes, it so. Just so you know, even if your friends abandon you, and if your mother abandons you, and if the whole world abandons you, I'll always be by your side. Please keep that in mind. Gotten silent. Oh, our princess seems to have in her dance. Hey, is she even alive? Beats me. Ugh. Someone's coming. What if it's teacher? Run, quick. Leave me lying here among the remnants of my once long hair. There's a taste of ink in my mouth. I feel ill. Footsteps. More footsteps. The ones who hover above me are all familiar faces. The very next moment my head hits the concrete. Before everything goes back, I hear voices. Man, how disgusting. Hey, stop it. You might be still conscious. Who cares? Just get her out of here. So, oh, Miss Wolfshire, how does it feel now that the fog has lifted? It's always like this, Umbrella Man. Jesus Christ! What was, my dear? Everything. The school, my classmates. I want to answer their questions. You can answer yourself. You're a cruel person. It's just that I'm not cut out to be a babysitter, my dear. But honestly, you should reevaluate your creationship choices. Have you ever considered that your wonderful lady friend is not as good as you imagined her to be? I know he's not a bad person. <coughs> I can't even do the wa to the water step. Uh, no. And she would never ever manipulate people for her own selfish reasons. Nor would she write insults on the class blackboard, right? <laughs> but oh well, you'll never listen if it's not Isla pushing you to the wall. Oops, wrong timeline. Forget I've said that. Say on problem man, where do people go after they die? On doses his eyes. As if contemplating something. They become they become star gazers. 
losing their officials, they become able to go anywhere in the West universe. But they just wander around. One can say so. They become the kind of existence that can be in any place imaginable. At the blink of an eye. And it's been millions of years in less than a moment. Can linger with a living being and experience their life. Hearing the thoughts, feeling the, what they feel. Becoming a stargaze is a part. The cycle, cycle of life. A purg purgatory period before one can achieve peace. It sounds nice. Perhaps. Arrow, didn't you say yourself that you didn't want to make haste to see the other side? You know my employer is very fond of you, so coincidentally it's in my best interest to see you alive and kicking. Oh, on another note, this woman whose body I'm currently borrowing has her shift ending soon. Don't want any questions from her. I believe you should go home, my dear. Right, I should. And if you wish to cut your hair before anyone sees you, I suggest taking scissors with you. Look if there's any in the cabinet. Let's go to the bathroom, Zef. I can't let anyone see me like this. Lift up the scissors. My hands are shaking. The scissors are sharp. Just one castless snip and it all will be over. Rose will bloom from my skin and I will no longer. Someone takes my wrist. Satan. Good evening, dear girl. When have you been doing your haircuts all by yourself? Takes the scissors away from me in one quick movement. Allow me to help. Do you have any ima image of what you want your new haircut to be like? I don't know. That's alright, I'll do something about it. Oh, this sound all too well. Somehow right now it's comforting. And then, I look into the mirror. A stranger is reflected in it. The corpse I've burned in the incinerator. Beautiful, Aiden. Thank you. Glad I could be of help. I'll be taking the scissors, okay? Okay. Jim pats my head before leaving. If you ever need to talk about your troubles, I'm almost here for you. Alright? Alright. Then my <coughs> Next moment, Aiden. Hey, Seth. How about we visit Dr. Huxley, too? Is it is attaching them to the body with Dr. Perfect. Good evening, Dr. Huxley. Hello, little one. Is there anything you'd like to ask? Yes, there's something that's been troubling me for a while. Oh, a chronic illness? Deadly disease, I presume? Yes, something like that. I've been vomiting a lot of ink since the Oracle awakened. I do not know where they come from, and it doesn't look like normal ink. If it was, your intestines would be full of ulcers by now, or worse. Let's have a look. So did you find anything, Dr. Huxley? My surprise, I haven't. I believe this illness is, a, is of psychosomatic character, which means that the problem lies in your mind. I'm afraid I can't be of help in this case. After all, I'm a surgeon. If it's not something I can cut out, well, you know, I understand. Thank you, Dr. Huxley. I'm happy to be of help. Okay, let's go. Oh. Um. Uh, 
Are I'm dating sim gone wrong? Reads the text. You play as a student who gets admitted to an elite school. I want both guys boys and throwing themselves at you, regardless of you. Can you reject them all? Can you avoid all two and good endings? Play to find out. Started collecting black metal on their own. Let's try to catch at least a glimpse of sleep. I jumped on bed, meow, I know it. Don't worry. Excuse me, what the fish? What the fish is that? I hear the sounds of pages slipping. Oh, you're awake, Miss Wolfshire. Where am I? Your mind, of course. Where else can you be? But, can't you see? It's our good old mind library. Lying in shambles. You're too close, Ray. Ray chuckles softly, but doesn't move away. Except me into your mind. How much closer could we get? I love it a bit too bitterly. Also, this music is fishing terrifying. Sounds also like um, recorded things. Right. Yes? Read me something. Does an old memory journal do? Anything will. Very well. Choose one. Memory of a yellow ribbon or memory of a graveyard. The memory of a brown man. It's quite short, so I might as well read you another one. Yeah, I got a yellow ribbon. It was on my eighth birthday. Roman stood in the darkest corner of the room, blending with the shadows. He stepped out of it only when everybody else left. He extended his gloved hand to me, and it was a present. A yellow ribbon. Oh, For your birthday present, I bought you this ribbon. We are born colorless, he said, tying it around my color. It's the people we meet who give us color. Where is the memento of our alliance, will you? Marianne, promise there is another one you've already seen the dragon mark. First dress. Back in the day, I had a slightly short haircut, just in the way that one could call girly. When Aiden awoke after Dr. Hux, excuse me, he was campus no more. He took up a number of new hobbies, cooking, cleaning, drawing, sewing among them. He looked particularly interested in making dresses and invited me to try one. It's wonderful, I complimented him one wholeheartedly. I don't think I'm cut out for dresses, Aiden. Why so? he asked, generally curious. What I see before me is a fair young lady. You should let your hair grow, he added smile. You'll make a wonderful lady when you grow up. Hey, what kind of dreams did you have before I appeared? I dreamed of a mother. Not always. Sometimes. It's just the dream said. I remember more vividly. Hmm. What were they like? One of these dreams we were walking together on the street that night. Stop also the, the decor. It was raining. Then she fell to the ground and I tracked her away from the sidewalk. I took off my coat and covered her. I knew I had to do something but couldn't do a thing without her permission. So I kept asking, should I call for help? Should I call a taxi? Should I call an ambulance? But she kept answering with I don't know, over and over again. So we just sat there, unmoving. People pay, pass by us. I cr cradled her in my arms. Felt like her body parts were missing under the coat. 
But I couldn't bring myself to check. That's the kind of dream it was. Not moving a muscle to do anything just because you told not to do. What a dependent way to live your life. I know. But strangely enough, I was content with it. It was supposed to be the way. To think of it, I've always wanted someone to make decisions for me. How pitiful. Yet fascinating. Although I'd love to continue the conversation, I'll leave you to rest now. After all, the trial is coming. Yes. Good night, Frey. Frey chuckles. Ipa, Miss Wolfshire. God, thingy that does stuff. How did we went from okay this is some deep stuff too I'm scared please let me leave Hi Felix Hello Charlotte Hi Bennett Hello Charlotte Hi Aiden Hello Charlotte I, 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 I. Um. Goodbye, Felix. Goodbye, Hayden. Goodbye, Ben. Say goodbye, my cat. Goodbye, Aaron. I miss you all. Hey, what, 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 Working. Dear students and teachers, you're welcome to the annual school trial. Please bring out your mobile phones. We shall begin voting now. And Henry peeks over my shoulder, waiting for me to make a decision. What should I do, Seth? See not to vote for him. But I want to save him. You promised Ari to vote for her. Best friends after all. What should I do? Okay, so basically now we have the literal endings. This is I will throw from him. Henry looks at me. So you really didn't choose anyone in the end. So true, I Henry. Mean. I choose everyone. I don't want someone to suffer because of my choice. Sometimes not making a decision is the best decision, huh? What a dumb choice, I really. Nothing less to expect of the school's infamous art ball. Henry, are you? Attention, please. Everyone finish voting now. Now count the votes. Please wait for a moment. Three. Two. Oh, no. And a one with zero votes. The garbage of society this year is. Oh, in fact, we have two people this year. Vincent Wordsworth and Charlotte Wolfshire. Hey, rejoice, you both. The girls will escort you to the smile room. On around is clapping and yelling. Feels like it was mass massive. Good riddance. Finally, you deserve each other. Look at Army. Says you're right. I see, just go die already. For the sake of everyone. Henry, what? Please don't cry. Henry turns away from me. Angry, rubbing her eyes with her long sleeves. I'll be okay. Don't take care of yourself, okay? But still hear herself as I'm being led to the room. What the fish? Option will take no longer than a few minutes. Stay still. And he looks at me from his operation table. The horror in his eyes. He's shaking. Charlotte, 
Yes, that's something I want to tell you. I'm sorry. Not who you think I am. I lied to you all this time. Puppeteers and observers. About other worlds. Just like everyone said, I'm a false god. A loser. A weakling. A coward. I don't know anything about this world. Nor what lies beyond. My name is not C. It's Vincent. Oh, really? I, did, I didn't know that. I... I know who you are, Vincent. You're no loser, loser god. I think you're wonderful. <laughs> I want to reach out to him, but there's no strength in my body. My eyelids become incredibly heavy. I'm scared. My library is destroyed. Ray is here. And the core too. Ray, I want to put an end to all trials. I want to save C from the world. I want to save Henri from herself. I knew you would say that. You'll still want to become a tragic hero for everyone's sake, right? A boy who put himself above all the living things. A girl who loathed herself so much she raised her self-confidence at your cost. All your imaginary friends. Your father who abandoned you long ago. Your mother who never comes to visit. You loved them all, didn't you? Even though I was always there for you. You chose all of them over me in the end. You said it yourself, huh, Frey? You are a product of my own mind, born from the remnants of the Oracle. You are a manifestation of all my destructive impulses. Essentially, you are me. I couldn't love myself, right? I couldn't love us. So pitiful, aren't we? Now then, come here. Let us repaint the world in your colors. Consume me whole. Take us up forward. Listen to me. I wake up, it's quiet. This is something on the operation table. Quiet in the hall. Um, um, um. Why is it so quiet? Why is it so quiet? Why is it so quiet? Why is it going throughout the room with an orchestra? Voices. The one saying them isn't just me. It's the whole school. The one who stands out among the crowd. It's a man dressed in pitch black clothes. He's laughing. Well, well, what do we have here? Say, what wish did you make on the shooting star? An ear deafening orchestra of voices follows. I wish for all the painful things to end. I wish for everyone's happiness. A meep? Just that. I see. What a foolish wish. However, it did come true. Nevertheless, as long as human ego exists, people will always hurt each other. The only way to bring it to an end is to achieve ultimate control over each and every person. And voila, there you have it. You selfishly ate each and every ego in the world. Now you're the only one left. Congratulations, my dear. You have become the oracle of this world. No way, everyone is gone. Vincent, Henry too? Yes, their bodies are now vessels for you. Not only did you consume their soul data, but also the spare copies of it. Unfortunately, they are now gone from this world. Say, Umbrella Man, can I ask you for one last favor? Yes, what is it? Can you kill me? Yes, what the fish? I can't even say you're good because, well, 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 all I do is keep hurting others. If I disappear, the world will surely be a happier place. Someone like you who disregards life itself wouldn't hesitate to do it. So please, somehow. All right. 
I close my eyes. For the rest this way. No one will get hurt because of me anymore. Instead of sharp pain, I suddenly feel warm. Why? You've done well, dear child. All this time you didn't want to be alone, did you? I listen well. I will grant your wish. Usually it comes with a price, but my employer will have already paid in full by now. We will travel across the skies and you will learn to control your power. Once you do, it is possible that you can rebuild your world from scratch. Let's go scar gazing, shall we? The oh, man reaches out his hand to me. He looks just like my father from the old wedding photo. Is it really okay for someone like me? Didn't I say it before? It's not about reserving. It's what was destined to happen. When a man covers me with his coat. So how about it? I take a brown man's hand. A leaf on the journey. I will travel across the seas and skies. Wander among roots and ruins of civilizations. Watch lives bloom and wither, and be reborn again. Perhaps then I'll learn how to be kind. Perhaps then I'll learn how to be honest. Perhaps then I'll learn how to not hurt others. I want to become a better person, Seth. Thank you for everything you've done for me. You've been a great friend. Thank you for seeing my story through the end. Let's meet again one day. Why then? In the end of the game. So it appears we have reached the end of the story. No matter what, Charles Bouchard was doomed from the start, understandable. You see, my friend, you've committed a sin, right? Of worshipping false gods, that is. Could we talk about this a tiny bit here? Because, um, 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 I might have mentioned it. The people call me the god of worlds. And my, my heart is the god's heart, so... Yeah, we have the tiny problem there. Luckily, I, I don't, I don't know really, but I hope there's no cult that worships me or a church. Just saying. Hey, are you satisfied with such an ending? Or do you want to see the child's story end in another way? You know, I have the power to grant your wish. You may call me percentile, but by this time... You should have learned that nothing in this world comes without a price. And the price would be your name. Say, will you give up on your identity for a mere possibility? Will you give up on your existence? When I eat your name, you will no longer be the wise, kind-hearted Seth. Because the child won't remember you. He always perceived you as her friend. When in fact you're just malware that infected our world. Oh wait, what? I did my best to introduce, introduce you as something trivial. When in fact you were not meant to be here. You see, there are no other puppeteers in this world. Every single word you've ever uttered was given to you by the child. You're just her imaginary friend. However, if you accept my help, she will no longer be aware of your presence and no longer talk to you. For that price, you'll be able to save her. So, what do you think? Oh, well, well, well. Well, isn't that wonderful? Come stand up, my umbrella. Under my umbrella. Figuratively, of course. Goodbye, Seth, the goody two-shoes. 
Hello. And I'm in mist. I'll see you soon. So. I mean, that's all also the uh, episode phrase. So that, that is. Yeah. <laughs>